Hello and welcome to the next episode of Funky Box Gaming. Now in the last episode I made my journey into Psychotronics, got myself a funky new headset which allows me to scan well anything that moves, good or bad. Uh, and I had my worst cinema trip ever. Never again. And I say never again, but I know it'll happen. So, there's a mimic. Hello, Dr. You. Shush. There's a mimic up here somewhere which keeps spotting me through the ceiling. Can't get up there. Not yet, anyway. Hello, Doctor You. Hello. Holy shit! That was a good time to use the recycler. Calibrating. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level.
I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Uh -huh. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Oh, so that's what it stands for, Gravity Utility Tunnel System. Another chip set. What am I picking up? Oh, yes please. Nice. Create a shield for 20 seconds, which prevents the next enemy attack from damaging you. Enemies that attack the shield are repelled. Psionic branch now. I feel I should spend some of these, but I might wait and get one more neuro mod and get the firearms. Okay, information, phantom genesis, oh that's literally what I just read, so I'm going to create a phantom out of that. Please ensure there is a cadaver in the enclosure and activate psychoscopes prior to opening the Warning, activate psychoscope before initiating the experiment procedures. Is that actually doing anything?
Warning, examination theater compromised. All specimens required. Warning, examination theater compromised. Oh. oh shit. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Holy shit. Oh. Warning, examination theater compromised. Scan complete. All specimens required. Warning, examination theater compromised. Ow. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examine it. Did I get new things unlocked with that then? I did. Electrostatic resistance, take 50% less damage from electrical attacks and hazards.
Scan complete. More specimens required. Scan complete. Psionic aptitude available. Moving. Research complete. Research complete. Please pay attention. Inspecting. Your suit integrity is compromised. Remote six nine. Thank you. Thank you. Below the threshold, I like that. Operator approach. I'm going to take care of the mimic that's out here first. <laughs> Ow, that one. Perfect. Scan complete. More specimens required. Psionic aptitude available. That is a cheeky, dirty trick to turn into a bloody. <laughs> Oh, that's the woman who lost a finger.
coming through. I don't know what happened to it. I am just going to assume it's dead. Operator approach. I'm an idiot. I'm indisposed. Demi. Kelstra wants to discuss some urgent matter. The science operator lets itself in the morgue by half, by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and slip in. Oh, that's that name again. Henry's Gallagher. That's the one that my brother mentioned. So from Rory to Damien. Damien. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles' movies up until I had that second Combinatronic Neuromod installed? Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy them, right? Haley isn't happy about it. Ever since she scrutinised my every move. How much hot sauce I use, where I put my shoes before bed. Shit, oh, even my handwriting. You say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in, wouldn't you? So, I need to be in the morgue. Question is, how do you get into morgue? really frustrating to be so close to like the first side objective I got and not actually be able to finish it. the bolt caster. Is it actually going to be useful? Oh it is! Operator approach. And it made a little squeak. Well that's not creepy at all. Just diving out of your bed.
Coming through. Sylvia Bellamy. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Wait, so that's the morgue keycard inside the morgue. Like, why would they still have items on them? Talk to you because you inspecting but your suit suffered some wear and tear. How oh, there's that John Dunn. Cheers, my dears. Alright, I'm gonna bring that turret with me. You won't have heard me, because I was very quiet in my gas, just in case, you know, the game heard me. But I did just crap myself a little bit. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Oh, did the turret actually do its job? Eradicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. Yet.
Oh, so this is the other side. Hey! Hey, over here! Oh. Alive person what, you need guns? Place. Ammo? I saw one of them science types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Uh, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. M my name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Y'all really shit and fell backwards in it, huh? Offensive mission, human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor, distribution of controlled substances, and fraudulent impersonation. Hey, what are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Yep. Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen, I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? You know, I used to be a reverend. Training for it anyways. Until I got locked up. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil, is pregnant with mischief, and gives birth to lies. Does that sound like anybody you know? Most of the other fellows were Russian. I speak a little, but... As you can tell, I ain't from there. As you might have guessed, I know my life ain't worth two dead crickets, but nobody deserves this. Mm. All you gotta do is open the door. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. You're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's 8714. Thank you. Listen, you running any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. So the green jumpsuits are criminals, then, I'm guessing. I seen one of the other volunteers come through here. A big guy. Bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. Real disturbed. Worrying? I'll just lay low for a bit. Plan a ride out of here. Being here, you start to miss things. Things you gladly said good riddance to. Oh, that's Demi and Lynn. Ooh, lots of good stuff in here. <gasps> Shotgun! 
I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion or was there some other motive? I can only act in ways that advance my directive. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I met it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. Ghost? I'm not sure I want to get in there. It might be the only way to get to it. Hello. Don't go inside here. There's no... Oh, hello. <laughs> it's 
three mimics. Holy shit! Hang on. Let's let's take care of you first. Oh, it's gonna move it.
I have this room? Oh, cool. So this this one at the end here was Annalise's office. Corey Richard. Oh. Hello, Dr. Kelstrup. I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just... Want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extranational space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrup. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me, either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Hmm. Remember your mission from Hans Kelstrup. Volunteers, Transtar sensors are irredeemable. Sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. Read the file on 13 if you need assurance. It's unlocked in the extraction lab. Oh, okay. So that was one way to get to it then. Oh, hang on, I have loads of newer mods now.
Yes, I want to hit that one. Oh, and a mimic. God. I knew there was a mimic in here. I didn't think there was a bloody phantom as well. Oh, hello, Phantom. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Shh. Stop telling people where I am. Hello. You as well. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your mental resources are the same. This should help. You should feel more alert. want to be out there yet, but I might as well unlock it while I'm here. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you managed to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino. He has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. How do I get into here? I know you're a mimic. Shoot it. Scanning target error. Insufficient type of material found. Standing down. Debug build. 
version 0.7.6. Verbose, on. through the walls. Son of a bitch is gloating, I know it. How are you holding up? I dropped a couple of nightlights to lure the phantoms away. Put sticky notes on every goddamn thing I'm sure isn't a mimic. You? Good. Safe inside the armory. Squashed a mimic that slipped in, but that's it. I got everything sealed tight. What's our plan? Wait for rescue? <laughs> you know, if we make it, Alex is just going to pull our mods. You want to remember this shit? I think we could get out through the guts. Work our way up to the Arboretum. <sighs> okay. Say the word. Uh oh. <laughs> that didn't give me any chance to avoid that. Terrible to this turret. Oh. Them back and comes. Numbers has shown a sign of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated morbid curiosity in small objects around him, attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them. Nutritive and non nutritive. nutritive. The initial diagnosis would seem to be rapid onset pica. But there's no evidence of this prior to exposure to the telepath. We're not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject isn't making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next shift to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus or intestines. Thirty-seven suicide watch update. 37 is still under suicide watch. As requested, the prisoner hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean for a coming surgery. No food either. Only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth, staring at the same point of the wall and mumbling to himself in Russian. Can't make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer doesn't seem to be suicidal. He seems disorientated. Like he's sleep drunk. Encephalectomy. Helen, I think we've gotten just about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I want you to schedule surgery within the next few days. Let's get it out and into analysis as soon as possible.
that was a phantom. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Blocking calibration request. Alien threat detected. Sure, you finally did your job. Oh, of course there's an enemy. Hello, Dr. You. Target lost. find this more funny than anything labeled everything not a mimic so if I see something without a note on it like this middle one oh no it does have a note God, there's a lot of mimics in here. So many flashing things in here, but it's all literally just says not a mimic. I don't think any of it is actually of use. Jesus. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. The Typhon wave it out of the thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Thank you. 
Evidently, more specimens required. Do I want to go in here? Oh, what I could really do with now is a. I forget what they're called. The things that make things break down. I need to make room in my inventory to uh, take those. Oh, let's drink that. Okay, so bring me back around there. You know what? In this room of post-it notes, I think I'm going to hold fire there because I know that nothing in here now is a mimic because everything says it's not a mimic. So yes, before moving on, I'll leave it there. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.